<laughs> Hello, my name's Catherine. Welcome to Foxleys. I'm the deputy manager here at Foxleys and we are a girl guiding training activity centre. It's a beautiful place and we're going to show you today how to make a den inside. I know we have 65 acres outside so I could do one outside but not everyone has this outside space and we want to make sure everyone gets a chance to make this den so i'm going to teach you how to make it come on in come on right let's come on in we have to crawl in boys and girls and parents of course I'm going to show you some of these features that I've made and then I might show you little bits of how I've made them. So, in this den, it's not so dark but that's because I wanted you to be able to see it. But you could make it as dark as you wanted it or as bright as you wanted it. One thing that kept it nice and cosy was my fire. Who likes my fire? Of course, it's not a real fire. It's made of paper, so it's beautiful, but it's nice and safe. You might be looking at these candles and thinking, why has she got candles? Don't worry, they're not real candles either. We have to be make sure that we're nice and safe when we're doing this. So we have safety candles and paper fire, just for effect. Later on, I'm gonna have my beans on toast. Oh no! I can't have toast, there's no more flour in any of the shops. I'll just have beans. Oh. One major part of a den is cushions. Have as many cushions as you can. I've got, luckily enough, lots of bedrooms here. So I've got all the same cushions. You might have all different colours of cushions. You might have green ones, blue ones, purple ones, or even brown ones. But throw them in here and make it nice and cosy. All the textures will be lovely and cosy. Then you can play your games. I love playing Scrabble. I love to learn English. So would you like to see what some of the words that I had a go of? Have a little look of them. We've got fun and of course festival, girl guiding, den, virtual and sleep. I wonder why sleep? Of course, you can sleep in my den. Come and have a look. Oh, oh it's lovely and cosy in my den. Ah, what else have I got in my den? I've got my blanket. This blanket's got all my badges on. I love it. It's lovely and cosy. I take it everywhere. And I normally do take it to all my festivals. But for this year, unfortunately, there's no festivals that are happening. So, Girl Guiding has made a festival. Yes, you're watching it. Of course you are. You know what it is. It's Adventures at Home Festival. Make sure you tag it. The hashtag is hashtag Adventures at Home. Make sure we tag it. Let's get, show the whole world it. One person that didn't know it was on and he just and managed to sneak up into my den was George. This is George. He's Foxley's mascot. He sits at reception normally and I came up into my den and I was like, George, why are you in my den? You need to be... And he said he just wanted to come and have a look and play Scrabble. Okay, I'm going to show you how we make the fire. Okay, I've got some bits here ready. Okay, the fire. All you need is paper, all right? So we're gonna have an orange piece of paper. If you've only got white, just color it in. Color it in orange or red. You're gonna have a yellow piece of paper and you put that on top of the yellow, orange one. You're gonna have a smaller orange paper. It doesn't matter if it's not neat, just rip it up. If it's not neat, it's probably better. You put that in the middle. Then hold your hand in the middle of the paper, pick it up and push and squeeze push and squeeze so you kind of make a little flower that's gonna be your flames we make lots of these 
and join them all together. Just throw them there. It doesn't need to be taped together. You just place them on and it makes it look like a lovely burning fire. Remember, paper fires only. Then what we made is it was a little bit dark and um, light in this den. So I need to make it a bit darker. So I blacked out the windows. But you're not going to want to put sellotape on any paint. So if your parents have painted your window frames or painted your walls, please don't put any sellotape on them. What you do instead is you get your paper, you get your sellotape, and with your parents' help, you get some scissors. You get your sellotape and you cut a little bit like that. Then you've got a sticky end and a not sticky end. You put your fingers on the not sticky end and you wrap it round and round again, just like so. Then take it off and then stick it on. So you've got both ends are sticky and that side is sticky now. And then that can stick on your windows. I'm just gonna stick it there to show you. See? Okay, this bedroom is very big. Some of you don't have a bedroom as big as this bedroom. So I'm going to show you some of my smaller dens. Okay, we're back on Wiltshire Corridor and we're going to go in one of our single bedrooms and I'll show you. I have to crawl for this one. Follow me. Hello. <laughs> okay, for this one, because the room's very small, I just used two chairs and threw a blanket over me. Like I said, you could maybe pour a blanket over a dining table and crawl in your dining table or even under a desk and make it as cosy as you like. I've had so much fun today and I hope you have. I'm going to say goodbye now, but please remember to use the hashtag Adventures at Home. Bye for now.